Hi, Mike Napoleon here with Super Speed Golf. I want to talk to you again about something very important to power in the golf swing, and that's vertical force. We're talking vertical force on the lead leg and the resultant vertical force that you get between both legs uh, in your golf swing. Now, I want to use a great example of a player who plays on the Canadian national team, uh, works with one of our good friends, Jason Glass, up in Vancouver, Canada. Now, Luna is a great player, has a fantastic golf swing, uh, but is one of those golf swings where I think there could be a little bit more aggressiveness in how she uses the ground. And this is something that can get her a lot more speed and power. So let's take a look here. And we're going to look at some before swing or a before swing. And then we did just a couple little quick drills with her and then did some swings right after. You'll notice the timestamps on these uh, videos are only about 15 minutes apart. So this is what you can see changes in vertical force in 15 minutes. So let's take a look at this off the start. Now, as you can see, her golf swing um, is very good. She does a lot of things well in her golf swing. The main focus that we were going to have here was just trying to get her to use the ground a little bit more aggressively. Now let's take a look and see some of the detail here. So, you know, kinetic sequence wise, she's actually one of the better ones that we've seen right off the bat. You know, she's creating a pretty good amount of rotational torque, um, just under, you know, a hundred Newton meters per mass. And then when we look at her vertical force, which is the primary thing we want to look at in this video, we were seeing that it was happening. Um, you can see in the video there where it's peaking, you know, is really just beyond shaft vertical, which is really good. You know, she's already doing some things well. I'd like to maybe move that a hair earlier. And the thing that I really want here is a lot more. So if you look down here at the bottom, our lead leg uh, vertical force here is 101% of body weight and our resultant is 143%. Now again, this isn't where I'm looking at this and saying we're ready for emergency pr procedures, but with such a technically good golf swing that Luna has, if we can get this to be a little bigger, we're gonna see some major increases in speed. Now, these swings that we had uh, before we did a couple of our drills, were hovering in like the low 90 swing speed which again is pretty solid, but for an elite player like this is something that we would really like to see improve. Love to see her get up into the mid high nineties, uh, really just in a short period of time here with just a couple drills. So let's see what happened. So I'm gonna just go back here and pull up the swings that we took right after we did the drills. And honestly, we only did two drills with Luna. We put a force pedal, uh, under the inside trail heel, and we put a force pedal under the lead ball of her lead foot, and we really were just working on getting her to push primarily on in you know early with both of those. So kind of during the backswing pushing more into that trail heel, and then in the downswing pushing as hard as she could into that lead ball of her foot. And let's see what happened to the forces as a result. But first of all, I always like to look at all these, but you know, looking at rotational torque first, you know, we saw a pretty good increase there. So now we were around 98 before, now we're at 120 Newton meters of mass. So that's a pretty big gain, about 20% gain in rotational torque. Yeah, I mean, that's only gonna have positive results on what she can do from a speed standpoint. But here's where the real uh, big gains were. And that, that's when we start to look at vertical force. Now, first of all, timing wise, I think this is key. We were able to move that a few frames earlier. Early vertical force peaking is a very important part to using the ground as effectively as possible. Now let's also look at those numbers. So our lead leg went up from about 100%, 101% of body weight to 131%. That's a 30% gain in less than 15 minutes. Resultant went up to 178%. So now we're looking at about Again, about a 30% gain there as well. Huge gains in vertical sport force, huge gains in torque, very simple drills to put in here uh, to help Luna really max out how she's using the ground. And I think the key here is that the swing speed went up by a lot. We actually saw uh, swing speed here about 98, um, 98 miles an hour. So we saw about a five mile an hour gain primarily due to this increase in how Luna is using the ground in her swing.